Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's a word problem. 160 meters of fence is used to border a 50 meter long rectangular field. Find the ratio of the length to the width of this rectangular field. Okay, so what's given is a rectangular field that is being bordered by a fence. Okay, and this rectangular field is 50 meters long. So if this is the rectangular field that is being bordered by a fence, then this is equal to 50 meters. And this is the length of the rectangular field. Now, what we have to find out is the ratio of the length to the width. Now, we don't know the width yet. So we're going to put simply a question mark here just to say that we don't know what this is yet. All right. And another number that's given to us is 160 meters. And this is how much fence is used to border this rectangular field. Now, what is understood by border? Well, what border means is in technical terms, we call it the perimeter. Okay. So the border, which is the same as the perimeter, is two times the length. Okay. So if this is the length, then two times the length plus two times the width. Right. So two times this much. Okay, so if this is the length, and this is the length, and this is the width, and this is the width, right? So if this is the length, and this is the width, this is the length, and this is the width, then the perimeter is the sum of all these four. Now, we do know that this is equal to 50 meters. So let's drop some color into this. So this pink, the two pink blocks are 50 meters each. Now, what we do not know is what the blue block okay this blue and this blue is equal to but it's pretty simple to find out because we know what they are equal to combined okay these are equal to 160 meters because that's the amount of fence that is being used to border this rectangular field so it's equal to 160 meters and from here it's pretty simple calculation all you do is from 160 meters you subtract the two 50 meter blocks and all you will get is what the two widths are equal to, what the two blue blocks are equal to. So 160 minus 50 is 110 and minus 50 is 60. So this is equal to 60 meters and this is twice the width. So then what is the width? Well, the width would be 60 meters divided by two. That will be equal to one blue block. And that is nothing but 60 divided by two is 30 meters. So the width is equal to 30 meters. So this guy over here is equal to 30 meters. Now what we have to find out is the ratio of the length to the width. So what is the ratio of the length to the width? Well, if the length is equal to 50 meters and the width is equal to 30 meters, then the ratio of the length to the width is quite simply 50 to 30. But we can simplify this to simpler terms. So if you divide each of these sides by 10, we can say that they are both divisible by 10 because the last digit is 0, right? So if we divide these terms by 10, each of them, then what we get is we get 5 here and we get 3 here. So the ratio of length to width is 5 to 3. And that's your answer. So the answer is 5 to 3. Now what this ratio 5 to 3 tells us about the length and the width is that if the length can be divided into five equal parts. So if this length is divided into five equal parts, okay, of this size, this smaller black block, then the width can be divided into three parts of the same size, the same black block. Okay, so if we take this one black block, then if we can fit five black blocks into here, the length, then we can fit three black blocks into the width. Okay, so this ratio 5 to 3 tells you that if the length is equal to 5 units, okay, if the length is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 units, then the width is equal to 1, 2, and 3 units. Now, in our case, what would be each of these units equal to? Well, 
if all the five units combined are equal to 50 meters, then each of these units would be equal to 50 divided by 5. And that would be equal to 10 meters. And we can uh, say that this is correct because each unit is equal to 10 meters. So the total length is equal to 50 meters. Then the total width would be equal to 10 meters times 3, right? 10 meters times 3 because there are 3 units. So the width would be equal to 10 times 3, which is 30 meters. And yes, that's correct. So that's the relation between the length and the width of this rectangular field. It's the ratio 5 to 3. Well, that's it about this word problem. I hope you've understood and hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.